It's been a long, hot summer and everyone's plagued with flies. It's a genuine public health problem. So like everyone else, we've tried all sorts of things. And now we're gonna pitch two of the most fun control methods against each other. The Venus flytrap and the Venus Williams flytrap. Why these two? Well, yeah, it's the play on words. But more importantly, there are no chemicals in either of these. Uh, we work hard to attract insects to our garden. There's been an unprecedented and serious global decline in insects. I'm very cautious about any insecticides, not to mention the risks of using chemicals around the house with kids and food around. So a few weeks back, I put these in our kitchen to see how they get on. We all know how they work. A fly triggers the hairs and it shuts. Critically, the fly has to trigger the hair twice in a row. That's how they avoid false alarms. So one week later, there were no flies. Two weeks, nothing. And there's still no flies in these things. I guess in the wild in America, they don't need to catch too many flies to get the nutrients that they need. So you'd have to be impossibly patient to film one catching flies naturally. So I expect in all the footage you see of them in action, they're actually being fed flies that have been refrigerated to slow them down, including the ones in this film. Just check Z Frank's video if you're not convinced. Meanwhile, So these poor Venus flytraps are certainly no match for the electric tennis racket. If you want one, the link's in the description, but keep it away from the kids. And you know, it's not the best form of fly control. Three centuries of entomologists can't be wrong. I guess it's because the fly will always try and fly away from the thing coming towards it. And as long as you're more or less on target, it'll actually center itself away from the rim. But the butterfly net, is by far the easiest form of active fly control. But what if you want some passive fly control where you don't have to do anything yourself? Spiders, obviously. 